So tell us, for those of us who will never get the chance to stand on stage before Simon. I mean, the other judges, yes, but Simon's always the one everybody seems nervous with. How nerve-wracking is that to perform in front of them and then stand there and wait for the critique? Yeah, you know, that kind of sucks. That's really what makes me the most nervous before any performance is that you're doing it knowing you're going to hear back from four people that are critique you. And I always... Whenever they got to Simon, I was kind of almost like, can we just stop and I can go now? Yeah. Like, <laughs> do we have to do this part? Do we have to go through with this? It's like, I don't know. It's like taking a beating sometimes. When you stand on stage, Dee Dee, and I'm sure, like you said, it's got to be nerve-wracking. Just, first of all, A, to remember all the words. But when you look out, can you see the people or is it just house lights? And is it just a blur when you stand on stage? Um, you can see the people. You, I mean, it, it's a bunch of people. Like, you know, when, after it gets past, you know, to top 12, it's like to say there's way more people. And and um, I, I really, I don't, I, I, I didn't actually make too much eye contact except for some of the people in the front. But I didn't really look at the judges until um, you're no good. Mm-hmm. I, I just, every time I look at the judges is when I get bad reviews. Dee Dee, of... For most of us, we're never going to get within an arm's length of American Idol or to experience what you've experienced being an actual contestant. What were your expectations and what was it really like? How did those two things differ? Um, you know, it was a lot more work. It was a lot more intense than I thought it was going to be. You have a lot less time to learn songs and and the themes, you know, are unexpected. You never know. They don't tell you until, like, very shortly before. And, and it's like first come, first serve sort of thing and... You know, it's it's a, a lot less sleep than I had imagined. Um, you're literally doing something constantly. It's like you're doing a forward shoot one, you know, afternoon, and then you have interviews, and then you do press, and then there's a red carpet, and then you have to go to a premiere, and then you're doing something else. So it's like you're literally, your days are filled every single day. You're doing something like starting from either 6 to 8 a.m. until the 6 to 8 p.m., and then you get back, and you're like, okay, I still need to do laundry, and rehearse and uh, wait you have to do your own laundry um well yeah at, at the end of it we I, I started doing my own when we moved into the apartments you're doing your own laundry mm-hmm. like i was always like i'm such a clean like i'm like i need to do my laundry i need to vacuum mm-hmm. i need you know and it's just you don't even have time for some basic things that but i'm really really blessed and grateful that i got that far and then i got to do it Dee, Dee, thank you so much best of luck you know you're you're very composed you're a composed talented young woman and we wish you all the best and we uh, hope to see you out here on the uh, American Idol Summer Tour shortly. Yay! Summer is thank almost here, so too, much. in Minnesota. I look forward to seeing you all, too. All right, Dee, Dee thank you. Best of luck to you. Thank you very much. Have a good one.